Hi everyone. What we have today is an Epiphone B, also known as the Bandmaster. This particular banjo has a little piece of Pittsburgh history as it was featured in the Banjonians, which was a band that played pop music on Pittsburgh's WJAS between 1931-1935. The original owner's son, who recently inherited his father's banjo, uh, was kind enough to bring in a lot of material for us, and here we have a picture of his father playing this banjo on WJS back in 1931. This banjo was purchased late in 1927 and that's a significant thing. We know it was purchased late in 1927 because there's still the original bill of sale. This banjo technically only has one owner, the original owner's son having inherited it, brought it to our store to get some more information on it. This is a transition piece for the Epiphone Bandmaster. Earlier models in 1927 would have featured an inlaid dragon on the headstock. This one does not. 1928 would continue with this stylized Epiphone B headstock. Also 1927, 1928, these are some of the later models to feature this decorative heel. Uh, very ornate, very beautiful, love it a lot. Let me go down the list of other of the build itself. Um, the body is Brazilian rosewood. The fingerboard, which you see here with its mother of pearl inlays, is a five ply gaboon ebony. There's the hand carved marquetry, very ornate. Some of that has chipped over the years, but that can be restored. The binding is pyrolin, which is kind of an, at the time an industry term for celluloid, and celluloid was an early ivory substitute. The machine tuners are Grover Deluxe. Originally this banjo would have had a Grover Deluxe tailpiece as well. It does not have that tailpiece but it does have a very good tailpiece on it yet. Uh, of course the skin is unoriginal as well. Uh, a real skin was probably uh, made by Roger would have originally been on this. That can be put back on. You could have a real skin fitted as well. This is an arch top banjo. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. In the 1920s, this particular banjo would have sold in the $200 range. Obviously that price has gone up. There are a couple minor issues with the banjo. I mentioned the chip marquetry before, but I'll let you hear it. There's nothing that affects its playing. It's in, for its age, remember this banjo is coming on 90 years, it's in remarkable shape, it's had one owner, and it really is a piece of history. It's a transition piece for Epiphone. If you'd like more information, if you'd like to come to our shop and check it out, and we are located 528 Main Street in Historic Harmony, Pennsylvania, 16037.